everybody. It's Joni B. And Jenny B. And guess where we are? What? It's Superman! We are so excited. We are in Metropolis, Illinois, the home of Superman. We cannot wait to show you guys this amazing little town. We are at the end of the street because Superman faces straight down the main street looking toward his fair lady Lois Lane, which we'll see later. So guys, this is Superman. You need to come so you can see this. This is insane. This is awesome. Couldn't get any better small town America than this. I know, right? I guess this is super small town America. So we're so excited, guys. So again, Superman, it's super that you are going to click that button and subscribe. subscribe. All right, guys, Let's join go. us on the tour of Let's Go Explore Metropolis. All right, bye. <laughs> Did you just fall? No, I jumped. If you're coming to Metropolis and need a place to stay for a night or two or three, Riverview Mansion is the spot. Will and Lori will make you feel like family, which is why we've already planned our third visit with them for later this year. If you want to learn more about our first stay and the history behind Riverview, check out the video we made for them back in February. And now it's on to the adventure. We knew if we are going to showcase Metropolis, then we needed to do it right. So we grabbed our super book and mapped out all the things we needed to see in the two days that we were there. First stop, the Super Museum. If you like Superman, this is an incredible stop. They have wax figures, action figures, memorabilia, pretty much anything you could want to see from the Superman comics, movies, TV show, Smallville, and Supergirl. We are in the Superman Museum. Yes. Do you hear that? See? That's the music I tried to play last night when we were in the car. Didn't it sound just like it? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, what's up? Who are you? For us, it was pretty overwhelming because we're not really avid Superman followers or fans. Admission is $5 and it's a worthwhile stop if you're interested in the Man of Steel. Keeping with that Superman theme, we went on the hunt for Metropolis's giant kryptonite rock. We found it in front of the Hollywood Museum and stopped for a quick snapshot. That's the kryptonite over there. You see it? The giant kryptonite rock. Then it was off to Lois Lane. She stands down Main Street from Superman. And in this aerial shot, if you look at the clouds, it looks like Miss Lane is enjoying a cup of coffee and reading the newspaper. Do you see it? Just down the road is the Metropolis Planet, which has become a pretty big tourist destination since this place was named the home of Superman. Once you've explored the downtown sites and worked up an appetite, El Toro Loco is the place to go for lunch. Highly recommend their Chewy's Burrito, or just let them know what you like, and they'll pick out the perfect thing for you. If you're not hungry enough for a full meal and just want a snack or a pastry or a cup of coffee, Sissy's is right next door, and they have delicious chocolate chip cookies, y'all. If you know us, then you probably know we can't come to a cute town like this and not do some shopping. So we did some damage in 6th and Vintage and got a ton of adorable pieces. Metropolis in July is no joke, so we hopped in the car, blasted the air conditioning, and drove through Fort Mastic State Park. The park sits just along the Ohio River and has been maintained since 1908, which is when it became Illinois' first state park. It's now nearly 1,500 acres of beautiful space for picnics, camping, hiking, fishing, boating, and even has an 18-hole disc golf course. <laughs> I can't see you! <laughs> Throughout the year, they'll host events celebrating early American history, an encampment festival in October, and other historical programs celebrating the rich history of the area. 
And just down the road is Hope Light. It's a 30 foot tall lighthouse designed to look just like a real working lighthouse. And it even has a modern lighthouse beacon. It's also a great spot to get a gorgeous view of the Ohio River. On our first day in Metropolis, we really trekked around and checked nearly everything off our list, and we were ready for a delicious dinner. We found that at Cordovino's, the Italian restaurant in town. We highly recommend the fried raviolis and pizza rolls for appetizers, and the chicken parmesan for your meal. So good. To cap off the night, we drove to the Masonic Cemetery in search of the Birdman of Alcatraz. He is a notorious murderer who has incarcerated his entire life starting at age 19. And while in prison, he studied birds and discovered a cure for a deadly disease in canaries. And he even wrote two books on the subject. We'll have an entire video about this crazy dusk adventure we went on in the cemetery. So make sure you subscribe to see that. The long and short of it is, we didn't find him. So we drove back to Riverview for the night. The next day we grabbed Will, one of the owners of Riverview and went on another adventure. The first stop, the cemetery again, to find this bird man. This time we were successful. All right, we think we found it. <laughs> we think we found it. <gasps> we found it! <laughs> Here it is. Okay, so if you are in Metropolis looking for the bird man of Alcatraz's grave, you are gonna come to the cemetery. You're gonna go to the second drive-in, second drive-in, and you're gonna look for this tree stump right here and then whoop there he is we also found the grave of the quantes the original owners of what's now the riverview mansion then we made the drive to mermat springs unfortunately due to covid a lot of things were closed so we just got a beautiful shot of the sign and then drove around we gawked at the crazy lily pads and flowers because we've never seen any this big And to finish off that adventure, we stopped into Chocolate Factory Inc. in Golconda. Holy cocoa beans, y'all. They had everything. Chocolate deviled eggs, chocolate toothbrushes, chocolate diet pills. They even have molds where you can make your own. Plus an entire case filled with delicious chocolate specialties. But the real star is this caramel corn. We bought two bags and I'm going online ASAP to get more because it changed my life. That's it. It was delicious. They also had incredible homemade ice cream and chocolate covered espresso beans. Basically everything was amazing, so you should definitely go and get some because it'll make you a very happy camper. Then we made the drive back to Metropolis. Here are a few things you might not have known about this southern Illinois town. 45 years ago, it was authorized by DC Comics as the home of Superman. Ever since then, it's been the comic fan hub with yearly events celebrating comic figures, especially Superman. For more than 20 years, they've held the National Championship Archery Tournament in the area at Lake Mermet. And finally, and one of the coolest facts in my opinion, in the movie U.S. Marshals, there's a plane crash scene. That scene was filmed in Mermet Springs, and the plane is still at the bottom of a flooded rock quarry, now used as a dive park for scuba divers. It's amazing the crazy things you'll learn about small towns when you actually take the time to visit and explore them. That's what our mission is all about, celebrating small town America and all it has to offer and showing you that your next grand adventure doesn't have to be in New York City. It can really be in Metropolis, Illinois. That's why on our last day in Metropolis, we filmed a super fun Ferris Bueller's Day Off themed music video showcasing some of the businesses in town. We had a great time in Metropolis, just like always and hope you'll take this video as inspiration to have your own Home of Superman adventure. Whether you're a fan of comics or not, there's something here for you. Just make the trip and come find it. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. It doesn't cost you nothing to hit that button, y'all.